Staker guys, they do their own thing. They've got their own chat room. They've got their own app. You know, they are not subservient to me in any way, shape, or form. They've never received any money from me. They've never, you know, asked me to comment on jack shit, basically. <laughs> like, they didn't ask me about how to do the fucking uh, leagues. That was their idea, you know? It didn't have anything to do with it. So, like, Hex is actually a lot more decentralized than people understand. Like, let me give you a list of all the different Hex front ends that have no similar code base and no similar hosts and no similar developers. Staker.app is totally different from go to hex.com is totally different from backuphex.com is totally different from hexmob.win is totally different from apphex.win is totally different from hardhex.xyz but actually those two last ones have the same dev and i think he made apphex.win or he made hardhex.xyz like a subdirectory of apphex.win so those ones aren't totally isolated but i mean the code for that is because hardhex.xyz is just to run on ledger devices and it doesn't use metamask so all these other ones use metamask well i mean some of them like apex.win and hexmob.win use wallet connect and stuff too so that level of decentralization is actually unheard of in the DeFi space i'm unaware of any other app that has that many decentralized front ends with different teams and different code bases and different feature sets like wonderful job hexagons and that's not even including etherscan.io which Kyle wrote a very nice guide for where you could end stakes and start stakes on Etherscan without any of these other softwares. <clears throat> Hex actually has a shitload of decentralization in it. Go look at the liquidity providers. Go see what other coins they own. You're going to see a whole shitload of other coins. So there is a ton of decentralization in Hex.